Hey there traders, welcome back for another episode from the stockbandit.tv. This is episode number 61 and I'm always glad that you made it and hope it's been a great week of trading for you so far. We've got one more day to go and uh, of course being a Friday it could be an interesting one. So what I want to do in this episode is just kind of talk about a pretty common chart pattern which is called a bearish engulfing bar. Now that's kind of a big fancy way to uh, explain one bar uh, the current bar compared to the previous bar, and and you know we saw a, a number of these today uh, across the landscape, and and generally it's a you know considered a kind of a, a possible change of character, and so if that is the case uh, with the Nasdaq having approached a very important level up here and now backing off of that with a bearish engulfing bar today, that may prove to be uh, the, you know, the spark for uh, a little bit of a pullback or some profit taking that lasts more than just one or two days. Now, am I calling for a major market reversal from here based on one day? Absolutely not. We have, we have nowhere close to enough evidence to try to see uh, whether or not that's going to play out in, in that fashion. So really all I'm looking at here is uh, uh, showing you some of these charts and just kind of explaining how this pattern uh, is is found and, and what gives it its name. And then of course uh, showing you a few examples of it so you'll kind of know what to look out for because generally when you see these it's, it's time to kind of uh, raise the level of caution in your trading, uh, especially when trading the long side. And that's uh, obviously been the side to be on when you get a move that looks like this over the past you know, eight, nine weeks. And so let me uh, get back to uh, the topic at hand there, here, which is the bearish engulfing bar. Now, an engulfing bar is one that just uh, exceeds the previous day's trading range on both sides of the equation. So if I zoom way in on the chart here, what we're looking at here is Wednesday's bar for the NASDAQ. This is a daily chart, of course. So one day is one bar. Uh, there's the high and there's the low from Wednesday. By the way, if you're not watching this on full screen, be sure and click the full screen option in the player. Uh, you'll see this much better. Uh, today we took out yesterday's high on the NASDAQ. So we exceeded it on the upside and then we, of course, broke through the downside. So we uh, engulfed the previous day and it's bearish because we finished below yesterday's low. So. Uh, a bearish engulfing pattern is what we got. We also saw uh, extreme volume levels along with that. And so, you know, that's kind of a, you know, a yellow flag, I guess you could, you could call it, uh, which is major resistance has not been cleared up here. And uh, of course, now we've got this big intraday turnaround and, uh, on, and, and on high volume. And so I think that's worth taking note of. Now, I want to run through a few more charts and uh, some stocks that have shown some exceptional performance over the past several weeks. Uh, up first is ASH. This one more than quadrupled from down here near six to uh, you know the upper 20s. Well, today uh, it cleared yesterday's high and then finished below yesterday's low. There's a bearish engulfing bar today on uh, increased volume as well. So you get a, a major parabolic move like this and then you get a bearish engulfing bar. Could be time to uh, start paying attention to Ashland uh, for a little bit of a correction to kick in. Uh, another one is Dry Ships, D-R-Y-S. This cleared a major resistance level right here at 740 and uh, made an excellent move here just in the past you know, week and a half. But today had a big bearish engulfing bar. We, we cleared yesterday's high and then broke below uh, the low. And so uh, that's another one. GMXR is another one. We exceeded yesterday's high and finished down here below the low. So major turn of direction there after a triple in this stock in just a few weeks. And so uh, that's certainly, if it is sparking a little bit of a correction here or some more serious profit taking, that would be warranted after a, a stock makes a triple in just a few weeks. Uh, one more to show you is Massey Energy, M-E-E. -E. After uh, basing here for several weeks, this one just caught fire recently, uh, more than doubling over the pa past uh, week and a half. 
but today bearish engulfing bar right there so uh, you know I think it's just a time to kind of start exercising some caution anytime you see so many stocks making tremendous moves and by the way these are not penny stocks and these are not easily manipulated stocks all these stocks have a ton of volume Ashland for example 3.3 million shares traded on an average day dry ships 41 million shares trade on an average day uh, GMXR 1.7 million shares Massey Energy 9.3 million so these are anything but penny stocks these are anything but easy to manipulate and so when you start seeing a lot of stocks like this making just gigantic moves and then you get a big bearish engulfing bar it's certainly time to uh, raise the caution be a little bit more careful out there in the days ahead just in case this ends up being a signal for a little bit of a short-term change in character in this market so that certainly remains to be seen but uh, as always our job as traders is to uh, maintain uh, good risk management and and pay attention and be on the lookout for any possible character changes that are out there and today we just might have seen one we'll see so as always thanks for joining me for another episode i will be back soon with more videos enjoy your weekend but in the meantime trade like a bandit <laughs>